A small shop in rural Virginia, home to the Wright Experience, is working to discover the secrets of the Wright brothers. It all started when the Army Aviation Museum in Fort Rucker, Alabama, commissioned a model of the Wright B Flyer. Uh, we thought that we could just go down to uh, the Smithsonian and get some drawings, and um, there were no drawings, so we were six months before we cut the first piece of wood on that airplane. To build the reproduction, Hyatt and his team had to reverse engineer the whole design. Uh, photographs are our life's blood, and if, if with the AutoCAD system that we have, if we can determine one dimension on that airplane, we can develop a complete blueprint of the rest of the airplane. There were no drawings on purpose. The Wright brothers were secretive to protect their designs. It would be nothing for us to do if the Wright brothers were not secret. Uh, they've given us um, a challenge to be able to find out what they did know. Once the blueprints are finished, the team builds the majority of the parts in the shop, including the propellers. The process is a continual search to learn more about the Wright's designs. Every day we learn something new about the Wright brothers that we didn't know. We have absolutely gained a, a lot of uh, uh, admiration for what they were able to accomplish. The Wright Experience has built many reproductions of the Wright's aircraft. Most notable is the first flyer used in the 2003 Centennial of Flight Celebration in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Bad weather kept the flyer from going more than a few feet on the day of the celebration, but the airplane successfully flew several times. The Wright Experience also built the 1902 glider that the public can fly over the dunes of Kitty Hawk. The goal of the Wright Experience is to get students interested in aviation and other STEM fields. That's the whole purpose of this, is to get young people interested in what the Wright brothers did and basically show them a a practical use of mathematics and science and uh, to get them to buckle down and say, yes, I can do that as well as Orville and Wilbur can do it. Josh Cochran, AOPA Live.